Hosanna! Hosanna to the King of Kings! Hi! Oh, hey everyone! Welcome to Sunday School! Sorry, I was just practicing my Hosannas. I mean, today is Palm Sunday, isn't it? What? You don't know what Hosanna means? I think you do. Hosanna is just a fancy word that means to praise or to celebrate. So I'm celebrating... Who do you think? Yeah, I'm celebrating Jesus. Now, back in the day, they used palm branches that they ripped off of trees and wa waved them back and forth. That's why we call it Palm Sunday. I didn't have a palm with me, so I just grabbed this yellow card, which would be used in soccer, which they didn't have back in the day. You know, for my soccer fans, a yellow card means caution. So even though people were shouting Hosanna to Jesus, there was some caution about because Jesus knew that something bad was about to happen. Do you know what that is? Yeah, Jesus knew that it was soon time for him to die. Okay, and even some of these people knew that Jesus would soon be betrayed, but they were still shouting Hosanna to him and still celebrating him as he rode into the city on a donkey like a king. Let's find out a little bit more about what happened. Here we go. God's Story, Palm Sunday. So part of God's story happened on a day we call Palm Sunday, and it begins like this. Remember how God sent his son Jesus to rescue us? Well, not everybody believed that Jesus was really God's son and the rescuer, but the ones who did believe in him did something pretty cool on Palm Sunday. It started just like any other day for Jesus. He was heading into Jerusalem with his disciples. But before they got there, Jesus did something surprising. He stopped and sent two of his disciples to go get a young donkey from a nearby village. He even told them exactly where the owner had last tied it up. They weren't sure why he needed the donkey, but they obeyed him. Kids, would you be willing to obey Jesus even if he asked you to do something you didn't understand? Anyway, when the disciples got back with the donkey, they threw their coats on its back like a saddle and Jesus climbed up. Pretty soon, the disciples saw why Jesus needed it. See, crowds of people came to the road and started laying coats and tree branches to make a path for Jesus. When this happened, many people recognized that Jesus was a king. Only kings came into a city like this. So Jesus rode the donkey, like he was a one-man parade. And the crowds praised Jesus by yelling things like, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord, and peace in heaven and glory in the highest, because they believed Jesus was the rescuer. But remember how some people didn't believe Jesus was God's son? Well, they told Jesus to make everybody stop yelling. They didn't think Jesus deserved to be treated like a king. You know what Jesus said? He told them, if they keep quiet, the rocks will cry out. Well, the people who didn't believe in Jesus didn't like thinking about people or rocks praising him. And that made Jesus sad. He actually started crying. And not just crying, Weeping. Here, the people were standing next to the rescuer they'd been wanting and waiting for their whole lives, and they were missing it. But even though Jesus cried, Palm Sunday isn't a sad story. Easter is all about Jesus' amazing rescue, and Palm Sunday is a reminder of just how special that rescue is, and how much Jesus loves everyone. And that's the story of Palm Sunday. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus was traveling. He sent his disciples to get a donkey. People spread coats and branches on the road. They praised Jesus. Some people didn't recognize that he was the king. That made Jesus sad. He had come to rescue them. A few days later, he would show just how much he loves us. And that's a part of God's story. Wow, so a lot of celebrations going on. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and sing our own Hosanna song. This song is called Hosanna Rock. Get your palms ready. Here we go! Hosanna, ho, ho, Hosanna.
Some of the people who yelled Hosanna might have betrayed Jesus in the end, but I know we wouldn't if we would have been there. We care about Jesus and we believe in him. So we can keep shouting Hosanna and singing his praises forever and ever. Next week is Easter. and We know there's something special is going to happen. It starts out really sad when Jesus dies on the cross on Good Friday, but then something very, very amazing, a miracle happens three days later. Join us next Sunday and we'll find out more. Until then, bye-bye.